Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number two in my JavaScript series and in this tutorial I just want to talk to you guys about statements and comments. Okay, so in the last tutorial I actually went ahead and I used this statement and I told you guys that that is called a statement but I didn't actually tell you guys what a statement is and what a statement is for and uh, let me go ahead and do that now so first of all what is a statement well a statement is an instruction that we give to the computer okay when we tell the computer to do something so this is how programming languages in general work not just JavaScript but all programming languages we give the computer instructions called statements and we are, that, that tells the computer to do something so what this statement did was it said OK computer grab the document and write the words hello world to the document and if we go ahead and we look at this in our browser that's exactly what it did it just went ahead and it wrote the words hello world and then because that's all we had in our script tags that's all it did and the program was finished okay so let's just talk about the semicolon here at the end of the statement real quick and what that semicolon does is that basically means this is the end of the statement okay it's like if you had to compare that to an, the English language whenever you write a sentence in the English language so let's say this is a sentence full stop whenever you write a sentence in the English language you end your sentence off with a full stop so whenever you write a statement in programming you end your statement off with a semicolon okay so that just means that that's the end of the statement whatever comes after this is a completely new statement okay so let's go ahead and get rid of this and we can use multiple statements in our script tags over there so we've already used the one and because document.write is all we know how to use so long let's go ahead and print something else out on the page so document.write and we'll add in our semicolon here and we'll write the words goodbye world and I spelled by wrong so we just go fix that goodbye world and the only reason why I did that is because I'm boring and I couldn't think of anything else to print out so let's just go ahead and save that like that and go back to our browser click refresh and now you can see our first statement executed and wrote hello world and after our first statement was finished executing that was this one then our second statement executed and that wrote goodbye world so that's pretty easy and uh, a nice little tip for you guys is that if you ever included HTML tags inside of our quotation marks here so inside the quotation marks then our browser actually treats those um, HTML tags as proper HTML tags that won't print out uh, smaller than sign or is that smaller than sign? smaller than sign br forward slash greater than sign it's not going to print that out it's actually going to include a line break in our page so let's go ahead and click refresh and as you can see we now have a line break where that tag was supposed to have been so that's actually quite a cool feature and uh, we can use that to you know write content to our page dynamically but now what I want to talk about is hmm, I'm looking at my notes here <laughs> okay cool yeah that's pretty much actually all I had to talk about statements uh, so now let's go ahead and we'll talk about comments and what comments are is basically like notes to yourself in your programming or notes to other programmers who might be reading your code so it's good practice to keep a lot of comments in your code I mean you don't want to you know one day come back to your code and forgot forget everything you wrote and like forget what it did um, so let's go ahead and just leave a single line comment for now and to leave a single line comment you just go ahead and you add in two forward slashes okay and whatever comes after that is a comment so uh, we can maybe just say prince 
out the words hello world okay so now our comment is actually telling us what the code underneath it does okay and that's a good thing you should always leave comments like that in your code maybe not for simple tasks like this but if your programming ever gets a little bit complicated you know what I'm saying like two weeks three weeks down the line you might forget what your code actually does and then if you've left a comment then you can actually help yourself remember otherwise you gotta go and figure all of that stuff out again uh, likewise if another programmer looks at your code uh, you wrote it not him you know so he might not understand exactly what you're trying to do there uh, so that's just why it's helpful to leave a comment and now this is like I said this is a single line comment so what happens is if you break down to a new line whatever you write underneath here isn't commented out anymore okay so let's go ahead and uh, show you guys how to actually leave a multi line comment okay so maybe you wanted to include your name on the first line and then maybe what the program does on the second line okay to so to leave a multi line comment what you do is you add in a forward slash and then an asterisk sign and as you can see everything below here has turned green so let's just write my name Quinton Watt and then we'll write what the program does so we'll say prints out hello world okay and now I want to end off the comment over here so I just put in asterisk forward slash and the comment is now ended and all of this is actually seen as you know, HTML data again so that's pretty cool and that's how to leave a multi-line comment and obviously the other thing is a comment won't print out on the page so if we have our comment like this or even if it was just a single line comment when we ran that in the browser you can see it will never print out that code okay it would never print out a comment so that's only there just for whoever's reading the code and that's actually all I have to say about statements and comments so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a comment please don't forget to sign up on my forum and I'll see you guys next time